What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the new releases coming in theaters this weekend, and I am talking about Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. This movie stars Henry Golden as Snake Eyes and Samara Weavens in it, as well as Eco Hewis. A mysterious lone fighter known only as Snake Eyes is welcomed into and trained by an ancient Japanese ninja clan called the Arishkaj by Storm Shadow, who eventually becomes his brother in arms and soon to be arch enemy, but finds his loyalties being tested when secrets from his past are revealed as he eventually goes on the path to become the heroic operative of the organization G.I. Joe. Now, if you're talking to me personally, I am not not familiar at all with the G.I. Joe universe when it comes to the action figure line or the movies that have been made in this universe and there are fans of this verse out there and when I saw the trailer for this movie I didn't know it was a G.I. Joe movie if I'm being completely honest all I knew was that Henry Golden was the star of the movie and I love Henry Golden crazy rich Asians the Gentleman, I thought he was one of the best parts of The Gentleman, and just any movie that he does, Henry Golden, I'm gonna see. Snake Eyes was, mm, it was a rough one. Snake Eyes is a really bad movie, but it has a saving grace to it, Henry Golden. I honestly think this movie is gonna frustrate the G.I. Joe fans the most out of anybody. And me, not being a fan, I wasn't like hugely offended by it. Henry Golden pretty much is the saving grace of this movie. Let me be 100% honest with that. If Henry Golden was not in this movie, this movie would be one of the top three worst movies of this year. But at least Henry Golden is in it and he's really trying his best in here. I really felt the emotional rage he was feeling, especially with a certain sequence that happens with him in the opening of the movie. And then just him training to be a badass. Now, I was a little bit worried too going in. Henry Golden is that charming, good looking guy who's mostly known in romantic comedies like Crazy Rich Asians. And the gentleman, he played one of my cool favorite characters in that movie. So I didn't know how he would transition to an action star. And he did a good job, mostly in the action sequences. While there are a lot of moments in this movie, which I'll talk about in the negatives, I'm not saying he's this phenomenal, perfect action star, I would say there's a couple scenes I thought he did a good job on. I do think the cinematography looked really cool, especially in this Japanese setting. There's this one fight sequence in the rain in the city, there's all these lights in the background, which was probably the best shot scene in the movie, if I'm being completely realistic. I just love movies that take place in Japan. In this movie, just the lighting in that particular action sequence made me feel like I was in that sequence, in that action film. I don't even know where to start with this movie. What is the worst thing about the film? Most of the action is really all over the place. Like, whenever there's fight sequences going on, it is full of that high frame shaky cam nonsense. There's so many shaky cam sequences in this movie that got on my nerve. And there's this one sequence that proves my point completely. There's the scene where he has to go up against Eco Uis, the dude from the raid. And you pretty much know what's going to happen in that sequence. You're not going to beat the dude from the raid. That's pretty much what I saw from Henry Golden action-wise in this movie. I'm like, how is that possible? He's not an action star. I could see the action was trying so hard to copy the style of Ang Lee's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Like, there's a couple sequences where I'm questioning how characters are able to pull that stunt off. It, it gets so confusing. Like, how were they able to pull this off, pull that off? The common complaint that I've seen with this movie by far is false marketing. And watching the trailers for this movie, I definitely agree with that criticism. 
because there's just a lot of false advertising in here and a lot of G.I. Joe fans who are fans of Snake Eyes will be pretty disappointed with certain decisions they made in here, especially if you look at the poster and the certain mask, like, it is just really confusing why they went that route. It felt like no passion or effort was really put into this movie, it just felt like a product placement commercial, trying to be G.I. Joe or Snake Eyes, and it's really none of that. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on Snake Eyes, if this is your guys' first time checking out the channel and you enjoyed my review for this movie, definitely hit that like button and consider clicking that subscribe button. I review movies every week on this channel. I do ranking videos, live Q&As. If you love movies, hit that like and subscribe button. Come join this awesome community. Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins tries to be a G.I. Joe movie without really being a G.I. Joe movie with Henry Golden trying to be an action star, but acting wise, Henry Golden's fine. This movie's gonna go down as one of the more forgettable films of the year. I guarantee by the end of this year, I'll forget I even saw this movie. On my rating skill, I'm going to give Snake Eyes a D. There you have it guys, that was my thoughts on Snake Eyes. What did you guys think of this movie if you saw it? Did you love it actually and disagree with me? Did you think it was okay or did you hate this movie? Let's talk about it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my social media links are in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.